hey, hey, Keisha West here, Lifestyle with Keisha, where we will be discussing parenting, home, health, wealth, and all things life. Today, I wanted to talk to you all about having a home-based business. Yes, everyone needs a home-based business, and today I wanted to share with you all the benefits that I have reaped since starting my home-based business. Um, I am a student of Dr. Lynn Richardson. If you're not familiar with her, check her out. She's amazing, but she is really, really big on having a home-based business. So guys, I want to share with you all, you know, the five, a couple of things that I've benefited. I have my notebook, so I won't get out track. But the first thing is being able to add additional income to my house. That was huge for me because as a single parent, you know, you kind of need more than just that one stream of income. So just being able to add an additional stream of income was, you know, good for me. And of course, when the pandemic hit, like that really opened my eyes to, you know, me realizing you cannot depend on one source of income because a lot of corporations were closing down. People were getting laid off, having to, you know, run and get unemployment you know, which is not guaranteed. So another thing is allowing yourself to build something for you. You know, I when I was, you know, growing up, I was raised to believe that I needed to, you know, go to school, graduate from high school, then go to college, graduate college and get a good job, you know, stay in that job for 40 years, you know, and then retire. But what I was not told was that, you know, I was going to have to take out thousands and thousands of dollars in student loans to be able to, you know, afford to graduate from um, this college and end up, you know, graduating with a lot of debt. You know, I did do those things, but I wish I would have, you know, kind of had a little bit of more education in the beginning. And I kind of think I would have rethought some of the decisions I made. But just being able to build something on your own instead of just building someone else's dream, you're able to build your own dream. Also, having a home-based business has allowed me to include my son, you know, in it. So, you know, just having a home-based business will allow you to include your family in the process. You know, you can create something that you can leave behind for them. You know, just building a legacy with your family to, you know, pass on the generational wealth. Um, also, you know, being able to include your kids will allow you to teach them responsibility, the value of the dollar. You know, you're introducing them into entrepreneurship, which opened their eyes to so much. You know, once they see you at home grinding, you know, trying to build something for them, it lets them see that this is something I can be doing, you know, on my own. You know, it gives them other options other than, you know, the traditional go to college, get a good job and work for somebody else. Man, I really wish, you know, I knew this early on, but we can't go back. We just go for it. And when you know better, you do better. But please, you all, you know, allow your kids to, you know, grow with you. That, that, that will help on so many levels. Also, having a home-based business versus a traditional business. Whew. Having a home-based business will save you so much of overhead. Because if you think about it, you're working from home. So you paying one mortgage or one rent, utilities, all of the overhead costs that is involved with running a business, you're already paying for it in your own home. However, if you decide to go, you know, the traditional way of going out to rent office spaces and brick and mortars, you're going to be responsible for um, having to pay rent here, mortgage here and over there, along with all of the other expenses that you incur over there. So that could be a bit stressful. And even if your home-based business, you know, has a slow start, you're not really coming much out of your pocket with any additional expenses. However, if your business fell and you went out and got a brick and mortar and all of that, you're going to be stressed out with all of the overhead charges that you have um, inquired over there. So please consider a home-based business because it is low risk. 
low risk versus, you know, the traditional way. But also having a home-based business and employing your kids open up so many doors for you to save during tax time because we all know once you're bringing in more income from your home business, of course, the more money you make, the more taxes you um, have to pay if you don't have a tax plan to help you, you know, kind of figure out those deductions that you are awarded once you start your home-based business. And I, I'm going to do a video on that as well because um, I do help home-based business owners lower their tax liability and employ their kids and all of those things. But today I really want to, you know, focus on the benefits of having the home-based business itself. So guys, if you really, really want to know, you know, a way that you can start, you know, building something of your own, you know, bringing in that additional income, consider having a home-based business. It will change your life. I know it has changed my life on so many levels. Oh, and I did want to share this with you all. If you're looking to start a home-based business, make sure that it's two ways you can go about it. You know, if you want to do it, you know, just under your social security number and don't want to register, you know, with the state or anything, make sure that, you know, you, when you file your taxes, you're going to use your social um, security number if you go the sole proprietor route. However, if you want to, you know, separate your personal assets from your business access, which I highly recommend, then, you know, you would get an LLC registered with your state. But this is the thing that I want to point out to you all, which a lot of people miss. If you are starting your home-based business, you want to make sure that you not only register your business with the state, check with your city and your county as well to see if they have registration requirements for you because many people miss this and you could be fine, you know, for not, you know, registering with your city or your county. They all have different rules depending on, you know, where you live at. So make sure you check with the city and at the city and the county level um, before, you know, you just register with the state. But I'm going to be doing many more videos on, you know, the benefits of home-based business, but also, you know, being in compliance, I'm going to, you know, provide more resources for you all. But I don't want to hold you long. I just wanted to kind of put that bug in your ear. Really consider, you know, starting a home-based business. And it don't have to be nothing just so big and extravagant. It can simply be something like, what are you good at? That, that's where I would start at. Think about something that you are good at. People always come to you for. Um, you make clothes. You cook well. But with cooking, there's some restrictions as far as your home business. But we'll get into that a little bit later, too. But what are some of the good qualities that you have that can be profitable? Find out what those things are and let's turn those hobbies that you're already doing into profitable businesses that, you know, could become a world-class business. Think about it and we'll discuss it more. Leave me comments below. If you feel like, you know, you want to hear more content on home-based businesses, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be bringing you a lot of content on that. And just, you know, let's do this together. But again, this was Lakeisha West. And, you know, we talked about having a home-based business and the benefits of it. I'll see you all in the next video. And I hope to talk to you all soon. Bye.